Hi everyone, I'm Journal Page. I'm working in this sketchbook and I've glued down two pages uh, from uh, each side so I have nice uh, work <laughs> space here. I'm going to do a double, um, double page here, a double spread, and I'm going to start by doing an uh, elements on my page in black I'm starting with stencils and these are just details that I want to have in the back you can glue anything like that is black and white and I just uh, decided on stenciling now I have this stencil with lots of words and I don't care what they say I'm using them as a decorative element and I'm just taking some black acrylic paint with a makeup sponge and just starting on this corner and adding it and it's not even a not the words the words not uh, all in inside the page as i said this is more of a decorative element to the page than anything else and i'm just keeping a uh, to the corner to have black and then fading away towards the inside of the page so i won't have harsh lines let's see yeah that's what i was uh, going for and i'm going to add some more here again not caring what it says you can use whatever a uh, stencil you have it can be numbers it can be flowers it can be anything it's just adding something in the back that you like And it doesn't even have to be a stencil as I said if you can uh, do any kinds of black and white elements in the back glue down pages just take a, a permanent black marker and doodle away all kinds of possibilities going inside when I hardly have any paint on the, my sponge so it will be faded like this okay so I want some flowers and I have got this this stencil is from Aliexpress this one is from is this is from Stamperia and well let's continue just adding to the page I'm going quite randomly the only thing that I do try to do is fade away so there won't be harsh lines so I'm using uh, all the paint I have on my sponge Just a little bit more I think I will go here I don't need it to be an exact uh, <laughs> what to call it I don't need it to be precise or anything I'm just as I said just adding details there are going to be more layers so I don't care and I'm doing some faded 
flowers. Don't know how much of it will be shown after I will add the other layers, but I prefer to do it now and maybe later on I will add more. Okay. So I like it and I want just a, a little bit more detail and I'm gonna do some kind of stamping. I've got this uh, trivet with this squares and I'm I think I'm gonna use it with let's try it with a brush just putting a little bit like this and let's try and stamp it yeah it works so a little bit of paint and again quite randomly Now I'm just <laughs> using whatever is left on the trivet and having fun with it. Yeah, so this is it. That's my first layer. I'm going to let this dry uh, completely before I'm uh, going on to the next layer. I'll be back. Okay, so this is dry, and I want to I wanted to try something uh, more before I'm adding some sprays. I'm going to take a, this is a gold a oil pastel, and I just want to add some random marks on my page, like so, and we'll see. I'm just playing. and if you don't have oil pastels you can use um, crayons it it works the same it it's kind of a resist but it will still be in the back so just randomly not overthinking yeah do I want some more? Let's try some neon uh, yellow. Because I can. For the fun of it. Don't know how much of it will show. How it will react. We'll see. Yeah. So sprays now i have homemade sprays they are made from gel food coloring with water i don't have measurements i just put some uh, drops of the gel food coloring with the water and then i test it to see if it's strong enough i've got here some dark red some uh, yellow and blue and i want to play with it and i've put some a, a towel underneath just so I won't drown my table with this uh, sprays and well let's start I'm not sure which uh, yeah that's the blue I've taken that I wanted and I'm thinking adding a little bit of water just to let it uh, just spread a little I'm just tilting the page so it will uh, travel on here and I want to I want it to look more organic and where I don't want it I will just dab it like so and 
and I think just a little bit of water maybe I will take this bottle it's yeah okay and let's go this way <laughs> It's always in between letting everything spread and controlling it, but it's okay. So I'm just dabbing a little bit of the excess so I won't have too much puddles here. And I think I'm going to let this dry before I use the uh, other colors so I won't get mud. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back. I'm back. So hey, this is almost dry, but I really like how the yellow neon is shining through this. So I'm going to try something else. And I think I, I want some... Uh, some little bits of it all over the page so I'm going to take uh, this scissors and try and put some uh, like shavings of this doesn't not going to work with the scissors maybe with a utility knife okay that's more like it so I'm doing spreading some shavings of this pastel oil pastel all over the page and I'm hoping that with I can melt it with my heat tool because I'm too lazy to take out a, my iron and go over the pages let's hope it will work and I'm thinking now be maybe adding some I've got some I think orange neon in my oil pastels yeah here we go let's hope it will work okay so heat tool and I will try just in one place and then I will do the other a uh, off camera let's see if it melts no it <laughs> it just blew everything so let's see if i can do it closer no doesn't work i will have to take my iron and put some baking sheet on top and iron the, i will do it off camera it will take me a while i'll be back I'm back and I'm in love with this uh, it worked <laughs> so I just put a baking sheet and took this iron and went over it and it just look at it it's just beautiful I think and it was so easy didn't need to do anything just go like this and it melted into the page so I'm moving this aside now because I know myself and if I can get a burn from it I will and now I'm going to continue with spraying my page so moving on to uh, this dark red and again just going randomly putting it on my page and now the orange yellow or yellow whatever and i kind of let them mix so i get more uh, shades in between yeah and i think i will leave these two areas just like this just a little bit more of this here so I will get some purple in between yeah oh I'm in love okay 
needs to dry and then we'll continue I'll be back okay so background finished I'm really loving what's going on here and I knew I will have a colorful and busy background so I wanted to the focal image to be <laughs> well it, for it to pop out it needed to be uh, not colorful and I went to, into my all kinds of uh, coloring pages I've got some I've bought like from the cheap store uh, like this ones all kinds of coloring and uh, books and I also have some prints and I wasn't sure which one I'm gonna uh, use I'm thinking I'm going with this raven and I'm just going to fussy cut it um, first of all before I forget <laughs> if you don't have any kind of sprays you can use watercolors you can use gelatos whatever you can basically uh, put on top of all the black uh, elements and will be translucent so the black elements will still be shown through that's the only thing uh, that is required for this kind of page so you can use whatever you want it doesn't have to be my kind of sprays so I'm going to use this raven and just going to fussy cut it now I don't want to add any color to it but I do think that maybe in several places I will color with black so I will have a little bit more definition with all this uh, doodling or zentangle or whatever it's called all this uh, inside the raven because it's busy and we already got a lot of details in the back so I'm thinking after fussy cutting just taking some permanent marker and going and adding just a little bit more in several areas more black like I'm deciding that this needs to be in black so I will color it like so the only thing uh, maybe I will add the gold I don't know uh, I'm deciding about it as I go I think I will go black also here and as I said as I go we'll see and so I'm going to continue doing this and I'll be back okay so got my raven and as I said just colored some areas with black to give it more definition and basically I want to put it here but I don't want it uh, looking floating in uh, in the page so I'm just going to give it like some base and I'm gonna uh, use some washi tape and let's see I've got several with uh, that basically are black and white and gray so I think it will work nicely here and just putting it here and just where is it <laughs> huh? I'm just taking a uh, all kinds of pieces so it it will be more interesting putting one on top of each other and I put it crooked good enough let's do one more just let's see yeah as you can see I'm not measuring or anything I'm just putting down pieces that I think will be interesting and 
let's just do another one and and I can't stop that's it that would be the last piece I think yeah so I have an interesting base now I'm just going to put some uh, glue stick in the back doesn't need anything more it's just printer paper and before I forget because <laughs> I'm trying to explain and no, not forget information uh, this image was uh, I've printed it from a website that's called uh, justcolor.net so if you want to uh, use the same kind of image that's where I found it and I really like uh, that website it has lots of uh, great images to use just a little bit more glue here yeah I'll go over it in a minute and add <laughs> more glue where it's needed I think the washi tape also needs a little bit reinforcement the adhesive is never good in washi tapes don't know why but here we go so let's hope everything is glued down I can remove this and now I just want some words and I've got a mess here on my desk so a little bit of a difficult to find things and I want to stencil the words I'm gonna uh, stencil this create art uh, basically it's a artist here I just masked what I wanted and I'm thinking like this and I'm thinking I'm going with white so it will stand out on all this uh, colorful background and it will just go with the raven so let's see I'm using gesso I like a uh, stenciling with gesso uh, better than a uh, white acrylic paint just personal preference so where is my here it is so again just some a uh, makeup sponge and the gesso and I will probably need to go over several times so it will be noticeable on the page and I'm already planning on going around the letters with some fine black uh, line so it can be noticed yeah so this is this and now create art so putting it here or maybe yeah I'm going here when doing white on a very colorful background most of the time you need like three la layers until you have a complete coverage So I'm just going over it. More, more time, another layer. Oops, yeah. I'm thinking that the create needs another layer. So I'm just I'm gonna put it here and do another layer
yeah okay so I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm just going to give it some a uh, fine line with a permanent marker and basically I think this is it although now that I'm looking at it I'm thinking why it's platter because I like how all this goes and just bring everything together so taking a fan brush putting water on it and using here the gesso I already got just a little bit more water it needs to be runny to have a fine uh, splatter yeah okay so now just a little bit white splatter okay gonna let it dry I'm doing the going to do the black uh, line and then I'll come back and I'm back I finished with the letters made some uh, contour with a very fine uh, marker and this is it I'm loving this page I hope you will try doing something like that here are all the details in the back so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now